Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another pilot vlog. My name is Peter, aka Pilot P, and today we are flying a Boeing 767. We're doing a three day trip, three legs, JFK, Memphis, Memphis to Baltimore today, and should be pretty easy. Started with a deadhead to JFK, my personal favorite. Got paid to be home, sleep in my own bed in my luxurious New York City apartment right now. And we're about to grab an Uber to head to JFK for our first leg of the day. It'll be a new captain that I'll be flying with and looks like it should be a pretty smooth ride. Just checked over the weather and it doesn't look like there's anything that should be too difficult on today's leg. So if you want to come for a ride, let's go do it. It's good like so cool. Parked up outside in the old school. The new me back with the OU. Morning, beautiful people. We're out on the ramp in JFK. Sunny, but still a little chilly in New York. Welcome to JFK, one of my favorite signs to see. Uh, Pre-flight, we're all set and nothing better. Show up to the jet, it's already loaded. So we'll probably get out of here 20, even 30 minutes early. One leg up to JFK, 34,000 feet. I think today is the... Uh, is the uh, altitude we're cruising at, and uh, like I said, smooth ride. So looking forward to getting leg one of two done for the day. into the glorious sleep rooms that we have here uh, in Memphis. But hey, not complaining, somewhere to put my head down and lay lay down for a little bit. So I'm gonna change out of the uniform. I got about, I think like four hours or so before my next report time to go to Baltimore. So relax for a little bit, hit the gym. It's non-negotiable people, we already know that get some lunch and then back at it. So easy flight over from JFK, 36,000 feet we ended up cruising at. I was a pop monitoring, captain was super chill, super nice, and literally didn't feel one bump of turbulence and got here about 35 minutes early. So ain't gonna complain about that. Quick little turn here and then uh, off to Baltimore. I'll see you later. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the ramp. Pre-flight in the 767. In Memphis, one leg to Baltimore, two hour flight. I've actually flown with this captain before, so I get asked a lot, do you fly with the same people? And the answer is, depends. So some flights I'll get linked up with the captain I've flown with before, sometimes it's the first time. So I've been at my company now for about three years, and I would say probably every month or so I'll get a trip where I'm flying with the same guy. But it really depends. It's just, it's all based randomly on your trips and what you bid. And usually it's a similar seniority. Pilots will fly with each other. If you're super senior FOs, they'll fly with super senior captains because they usually have the best trips. But uh, otherwise, it's like I said, it's kind of random. So I've flown with this captain before a few times. He's actually a New Yorker, lives in Long Island himself. So uh, we get along great. We got uh, our New York attitudes and uh, same sense of humor. So. Like I said, just over two hours to BWI, Baltimore. Here's the ramp out in Memphis. It'll be uh, my leg to monitor again. So I get paid today not to fly an airplane, but to uh, monitor. Get paid the same, so all good by me. See you soon. That was 
absolutely no fun whatsoever. Uh, yesterday when I last talked, I was flying Memphis to Baltimore. I did, but uh, had a first ever happen. I, uh, I threw up on the flight. So as I was flying, luckily we were at cruise, captain's leg to fly, but I had to get up from my seat and I know it's pretty gross, but threw up all over the place in a garbage bag and it was disgusting and horrible. And I don't know if you've ever flown, thrown up on a plane but you're not, your feet aren't on solid ground and you feel terrible and there's nothing you can do until pretty much you're back on, on solid ground. So luckily he was able to get back in the seat. We got the plane on the ground safely. And then as soon as we blocked in, as soon as we got to the gate, it happened again. So no fun. Luckily I'm feeling better right now, but, um, what happens when a pilot's sick on a layover? Well, it becomes kind of a cluster because now, I'm not flying back to Memphis. I can't because I'm sick. I need to get a reserve pilot to get to Baltimore in time for the next flight. So kind of a lot of things have to happen, but luckily it all worked out. They got someone here, a reserve pilot, and uh, he or she was able to fly the plane back to Memphis while I recovered. So um, my job's done. My work's done. I'm going to go grab some food now because I am feeling a little bit better and then uh, head to the airport in a little bit and work my way back to New York because uh, I can't can't fly when I'm sick and this is my last leg of the trip so not really much fun to be had but yeah it's interesting when you do get sick kind of the different things that have to happen so luckily they were able to find someone to uh to cover for me but uh no bueno hopefully when you get home no problem and I uh, feel 100% better here in a couple days just got back to the city right back to my apartment and uh yeah not how I expected my trip to end having to get home from Baltimore. I ended up having to go through DCA, Reagan, because there's no flights, Baltimore direct to New York. So DCA to uh, Newark and then Uber back to my apartment real quick, just dropped off my bag. And now I'm actually headed to uh, the hospital for special surgery because my mom just got hip surgery, fun fact. So going to check up on her, make sure everything went well. And yeah, so I had, didn't have more flying to show you guys. But uh, hey, it is what it is. Feeling a little bit better. Gonna go get some soup to kind of calm my stomach. I think it was just like a 24 hour bug that hopefully uh, is gone for good. So again, yeah, hopefully next trip goes a little bit better. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I promise next time there'll be some more flying. So as always, till next time, I'll see ya.